Hello, hello guys. Uh, namaste. Brev, DAP, Sanbonani. Uh, bonjour. Anyway, we have a Lenovo here. They told me that the machine is turning on, but there is nothing on the screen. So let's see. The machine is charging the battery with 600 milliamps. Now let's press the power button. The power button is on. There we go. We have all the information on the screen. Oh, thank you, boss. All right. Yeah, of Okay. the screen is turned on but there's no information so i believe this is the operating system issue all right guys so what i'll do normally i will check if the caps lock is turning on the caps lock is turning on and then turning off okay step number two you will take an hdmi cable Let's use an HDMI cable to see what are the issue. It's on the internal screen. Or what? Okay, let's check here. All right, guys, you can see uh, the screen is blank. Nothing. I've connected an HDMI cable. Maybe let's try to project it. Uh, let me go back all right i don't really understand this so what, what i'm gonna do let me shut down the machine completely off let me turn it on again let's check here the machine is not turning on the problem is the cash lock is turning on which should which tells me that the machine is putting up but why 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 there is nothing on the screen hmm I haven't seen such a problem this is very strange uh, but let's try okay this can go to can go to BIOS. Okay, I think I can see what is going on here. The issue here, uh, the system, the system is corrupted. Uh, maybe the Windows, the operating system has been uh, corrupted. Uh, oof, let me just escape and then let me just save, exit changes. Yes, exit. I will show it to you. This is where it's supposed to, to load an operating system. But it doesn't want to go through. But the fact that the caps lock is turning on, it means the machine is working 100%. Let's go to BIOS again by pressing the F2 key. You see, we can go through there. Go to options. EUFI. Okay, let's uh let's uh, let's put this up. Try one more time. All right, so still doing the same thing. Anyway, uh, it means something wrong with an operating system. Let's do this. Let's press F12, the boot key. Okay, then here you can choose what you want to boot with. Let's boot with an SSD. Oh, I can see something is wrong. The SSD. All right. So what I can do is 
we need to remove this and then install an operating system on the SSD. Let me shut the machine down. All right, guys. So what you what what you gonna do? We'll have to remove. Yeah, I think here maybe the operating system went corrupt, which is correct. But I think it's happened because maybe the machine was um, fully loaded. Maybe there is no space on an SSD. You can see this machine is running with two drives. There's a hard drive and there's an SSD. There's a possibility that the SSD is fully loaded. That's why there is. That's why the machine is can't put into into Windows. That's my own opinion. That's what I think. Always remove the battery first. Start removing the battery. We need to open the screws. Disconnect the battery, man. Don't remove it, but disconnect it. Uh, 